folks, in case you have been steadily lamenting the last days of our Sodom and Gomorrah, I come riding a white horse to proclaim that all is not lost, at least not yet. So let's tap our ruby slippers together, take a reverse whirlwind trip from the land of Oz all the way back to Kansas for just a moment, where a math teacher is about to receive $95,000 in a settlement from the school district that punished her unfairly for refusing to use a student's preferred pronouns just a little while back. Pamela Ricard, who up until recently lived and worked in the Geary School District, about an hour from Topeka. Uh, if you've never been to Kansas and you want to imagine a land flatter than, um, you know, the coke you left open overnight uh, and plant some wheat right there in that spot, let me tell you, you can drive off the road there and you don't even know it. You just keep on going flat. Uh, now, with that image fixed firmly in your mind, step inside this institution of learning and see what happened. Ricard, who's a Christian, stood her ground against the school district and was suspended for three days for her trouble back in March of last year. It put a blemish on her record and was likely to only be the first in a series of disciplinary actions if she continued to refuse. Well, she did citing that using incorrect pronouns to refer to a student violated her personal religious beliefs. She requested a policy exemption on these grounds, and she was refused. Now, there's nothing unusual about this story except for the outcome, which is that she won a settlement against the school. The court that tried uh, the, the court that tried the case apparently didn't care for Mrs. Ricard, Ms. Ricard's uh, rights being trampled and ruled in her favor. Now, I could stop right there. We could have a full story in that and celebrate, but I want to chew on this for just a minute. Here we go. First of all, I'm glad the justice, justice system seems to have been in working order for once on an issue that has and will continue to be critical to the culture war into which we've all seemingly been drafted lately. In the land of the legal action, uh, there's a thing called precedent, and it gets set through what's known as case law. In other words, primary laws and ordinances are written on the books by legislators, and then all the kinks are worked out over time through the judicial system. It's a slow-moving process, and it was designed to be by the founding fathers to do exactly that. And they didn't take lightly the idea that things in a fast-moving society can go off the rails in a hurry. What we're seeing right now is the development of case law that's going to shape the future of our conversations and legal actions surrounding this whole gender pronoun thing. And let's not forget that the, quote, gender pronoun thing is merely the eyes of the crocodile poking up above the surface of the water. There's a whole scaly monster underneath it. Now, when I tell you that you need to get your kids out of public schools, once again, it isn't just because cases like this one often swing the other direction and the great pendulum is and has been shifting to the left for a while now. It's also because that underlying ideology is passing from theory to fact in the brains of the mostly mindless followers who comprise a too large regiment in our society. This teacher lucked out. That's what I'm telling you. She lucked out. This case is the exception rather than the rule. The foundation of public schooling long ago went from crack to crumbling, and the whole edifice will soon collapse. Watch and see. You don't want your kids to be in it when it does. Sarah. Ain't that the truth? It is the truth. I'm sure you're a little got busy. my kids you the hell out of public can get them out of the public school, man. You got to take a little bit of tequila, get them out. <laughs> mm. Get them out of that public school, y'all. Uh, just turn we're going to be in what? Did you just turn into Eric July? Eric July, man, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Eric July, Get man. your kids the hell Ripple, out of public school. Y'all don't know about the Ripperverse, man. I can tell you, you got <laughs> them comic books on the shelf, man. They just come in. There's a whole alternate reality with them all these retarded people, man. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Black Stan Lee now. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good Eric good. July, if you tell that's me not right bad. there. Now you just got to yell about the roads. Yeah, yeah, they, that's true. Yeah. Black Stan Lee. My roads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, them ho ass roads. <laughs> that's my favorite Eric July clip ever. 